time to Guam Israel. First and foremost, we give all praise to the Heavenly Father in the name of our God. Our by Shem Yahushai. Most I want you to be edifying, man. I want to go into a couple of scriptures and meditate, man. As well as the testimony, that this is like something that just happened right here. Yeah, I'm gonna start off with um, the root, uh, chapter four, verse twenty-five. For my children, suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from the Most High. Understanding that my children, the Most High children, is Israel, man. So-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. And that's why we do in the service, you know, the Prime Spirit Yahweh Shai, man. Brothers are out here to tell our people to wake up and forsake their wicked ways, man. And they always walk up and down these streets and refuse to hear the word, man. Not even, uh, not to wake up to their true nationality. They, can't, they want to continue to do the wickedness. They want to continue to, to, to refuse to, uh, to, the, to come back to the lost side of the commandments of the Heavenly Father. And that's the reason why we're in, a, in this predicament this day, man. The curses are upon his people, man, because they forsake the, the everlasting law, man. The Heavenly Father, man. And it's good to say what? My children suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from the Most High. Because the Most High was faithful. Faithful. He was faithful unto our obedience and he was faithful unto our disobedience. He said, you look, if you didn't keep my commandments, like, hey, the Spirit was going viral, what Kendrick Lamar say, man? Don't call, call me an Israelite, don't call me black no more. Black is a color, man. And he said, what? In Deuteronomy, the curse is upon us. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm verbatim what he said, but that's what he was saying, man. And that's what's going on. That's, that's exactly why we in the state right now, man. And when we go into second Nedras, I'm not, I'll just get it real fast and go that. Second Nedras, uh, three. Second Nedras three and, um, 36, I believe. Yeah, second Nehemiah 3 and 36. It says, What? Thou shalt find that Israel by name hath kept thy precepts. Okay, Yahshua Allah, he is the Prince of Power, man. Those are coming back to the such commandment that keep that precept. Because the precept is what? It's a commandment. We're not here to do commandments of, of men, the will of man. You see these brothers out here, you can plan a few brothers. These brothers are young men, man. These brothers got families the same way we got, you know, got wives, got children, you know what I'm saying? And we out here trying to come back and do the right thing, man. It's wicked, it's wicked society, it's wicked, man. And we were sold into our enemies, but it says what? That thou shalt find that Israel by name have kept our precepts, but not the heathen. Because our people that don't want to get right ain't nothing but heathens, man. You look at, look at people, people act like heathens, they're more wicked than the wicked, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it is. If you want, if you want to be a heathen, you're going, you're going to have the same judgment as this heathen, as a so-called white man, as the enemy, man. You're going, you are, you are the enemy, man. You are one of our greatest enemies. If you don't want to get right, man. That's why the, the scripture talk about two thirds of the Most High people got to be done away with. You know what I'm saying? We're going to go back in the root. This is four, um, back in root four and twenty-five. My children suffer patiently. The wrath that has come upon you from the Most High, for thine enemy have persecuted thee. Starting uh, first with, with the so-called white man, Esau, and these other, all the other nations, and two thirds of our own people, man. Especially the women, man. Because our women not even with us, man. You know what I'm saying? It says, suffer patiently. For thy enemy have persecuted thee, but shortly that shall see his destruction and shall tread upon his neck. You know what I'm saying? I got a quick precept. This is Jeremiah 16, 16. Behold, I will send for many fishers, save Yahweh, and they shall fish them. And that's what brothers are doing right now. We're trying to fish for the elect. We're trying to fish for the elect. And it's all through the power and spirit of Yahweh by Shia Shai, man. It says, and after will I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from from every mountain and from every hill. That's what's gonna happen, man. And out of the holes of the rocks, we're gonna hunt our enemies, man. And the scripture talks about the story of my sanctuary. The wicked Israelites, the wicked so-called Negro Latino Native Americans gonna get it, man. And then even confusing their faces, man. Because the most high people gonna get it first, you know? And I'm gonna have another quick precept, because when we first started, you know, doing the side videos, you know, first brother Shemaya was doing it. It was a, a northern tribe sitting right here. And she was on the phone with her husband. And I asked her brother, you ready to record? And, and uh, he said, yeah. And then she dropped the phone off a little bit to, 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 to get in our conversation and say what? Oh, he ain't ready. 
And the brother didn't know that she was talking to her. I said, you know, I'll move over a little bit. I was in short, so we moved over, and then we moved over and tried to record. She came over and tried to engage in conversation. I was she got all bruised up, beat up, and then her man actually came, and she wanted to know what the process is about. So she asked some questions, but don't want to wait for the answer. So her husband I said, look, man, your husband, I already deal with you. So she started going crazy. And Jake, you know, he, he's a Judah, he ain't say nothing. He just got sat there and quiet and watched her, her, his wife, talk to the men of the Lord like crazy, man. You know, and that's what happens, man. We're persecuted by our enemies. Those the wicked Israel don't want to give out a heart by enemies. They don't want to persecute them. They're walking up and down. We don't want to talk to these other nations and tell them their damnation, man. You know what I'm saying? Tell them that they're going into captivity. They take it and keep it going, man. But our our people is the only that's with it, man. That don't want to get right and talk shit. And then he said, I asked him, she, I, uh, I said, hey, brother, you know, ask him a question. She grabbed his neck like this and turned and turned around. Both of them said, no, he only, she, she said, he only listened to Jesus and women. What I said, you know what I'm saying? Our men are destroyed. You being effeminate, effeminate meaning lack of faith, man. You know what I'm saying? Not a man, not a man of the Lord going to be destroyed, man. The scripture talk about that, man. Not only homosexual, not only sodomites are going to get destroyed, through the, get burned up that second fire, but y'all, men, I ain't being real men too, man. I got a quick precept. This is Micah chapter 7, verse 10. Then she that is my enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her, which said unto me, Where is the how of thy power? My eye shall behold her. And I'm going to hold that and go back to Baruch 4 and 5. And it says, My children, suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from the Most High, from thy enemy have persecuted thee, but shortly shall, uh, but shortly thou shalt see his destruction, man. We're going to see the destruction of all our enemies, man. The so-called white man, these other nations, these wicked niggas, these wicked bitches, man. All of them, man. People ain't want to get right when we out here, you know what I'm saying? Pouring brothers, pouring out their spirits, man. You know what I'm saying? We all going to see the um, We all going to see their destruction, man. It says, My eyes shall behold her, now shall she be trotted down. That's the man. That's exactly the other nation. You know what I'm saying? And that's the, and then when he and when these other niggas get their destruction, they gonna remember stuff they did, did like that, man. To the men of the Lord, man, distracting the word. But that's what not for the truth, but against uh, it's not uh, for the, not against the truth, but for the truth, man. It says, "My eyes shall shall behold her. Now shall she be trotted down as mirror of the streets, man." And not only the, uh, these wicked women, but our other nations, man. But that being said, what's that one else edifying, man? Shalom.